Right, this is going to be a DVD and Blurry update. Um, it's going to be part one of about four I'm going to be doing over uh, uh, the next you know week or so. Um, I've got a lot to show. I've kind of broken down a bit. I don't want to be doing like um, an hour long video. It's, it's pretty, uh, it's kind of time for me and probably time for people watching as well. So I'd like to t kind of take in. But I'm going to show the DVDs off first. But, um, all these are Hong Kong. They go from good to ones I haven't um, watched yet, and some ones not so good. First one is a uh, Chai and Fat and Code of Honor. Really, really good triad film. Although it's got a bit of a disappointing ending. There's some amazingly savage bits in it. it stars um, Shin Fui on as well. Uh, you know from A Better Tomorrow. Always plays a villain. Um, really, really good. Good film. Just as I said, the ending just a little bit disappointing, but it's savage in places. Very good. Um, We've got Red Shield, uh, with Danny Lee, and uh, Lunkar, uh, Yan, uh, aka Beardy. Pretty good as well. Um, you know, some good set pieces. Sometimes Danny Lee's films are a little bit hit and miss, you know, um, but um, yeah, this one's not bad at all. It's, 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 it's pretty good. Um, and it's, these are a few. Oh, no, I have watched this one. Now, this is a. Now this, the first half of this film is actually very good. Um, China White, it's a set in Amsterdam. Two warring um, triad groups. Now this is the film um, in which the triads have put a lot of money into. And uh, basically, in no uncertain terms, kind of forced actors to be. And that's why you'll see, um, you know guys turning up for kind of like almost like small kind of cameos and they're basically forced into it by um the hong kong mob first half's really good some fantastic brutality and the second half just goes to shit billy drago turns up in this as well and that isn't necessarily a good thing it's um kind of it just goes to hell in the second half first half was pretty savage pretty good but yeah it just doesn't doesn't you know hit those heights again and uh, a few more i picked up i haven't had a chance to watch these yet um, we've got the Tigers of Andy Lau Andy Lau um, being in China what, he was one of the actors that was actually forced into being in it um, yeah here that one's good um, picked up another legendary collection um, Hearty Response and I picked that this film I hear is really 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 good um, My Heart is That uh, Eternal Rose yeah this is really good really nice cover art on this as well yeah, I hear this is a really, really good one. Really nice slip cover on that. Right, um, now it's time to show some of the Blu-rays off, and I've, I've got a fair few of these amongst many others, like in the update. Um, show a film, I'm not really, um, you know, this is a really good, no, no, I, don't, I probably wouldn't would buy films like this normally, but I watched it um, around Christmas time, really enjoyed it with my family. Um, Paddington, still book of it. I thought it was excellent. Really did. I thought it was. It wasn't too emotional. It was just just good film. Really good. Just really good film. Really good film. Much of the time. I really enjoyed that. Um, picked up the Steel Book of 2001: Space Odyssey. Absolute classic. A little bit annoyed though. You know, when you saw some of the pre pictures of this. I think some of the Steel Book. I, I know. I was thinking I was on the hide of Ninja. Blu-ray.com. Uh, you know, from here, I suppose you're seeing it. It looks white, but in actual fact, when it's, it's kind of a grey kind of colour. Really wanted that kind of standing kind of like white colour when I first saw it. It's, you know, don't get me wrong, it's a nice steel, but, but that white would have really kind of improved it. But you know, look, look, it's a. I'll buy it more for the film mainly, but you know, it would have been nice. You know, as just, you can see there, it's got a greyish kind of matte kind of colour. It's a shame. It should have been more kind of pearly kind of white. Um, Right, I picked up here. There's a few, a few Kino releases here. Uh, to all a good night, uh, directed by uh, David Hess. Low budget slasher, um, dormitory type slasher. Um, violence isn't very good. It's it's very. Um, I think the best thing about this film is the cover art. I thought the cover art's absolutely classic. One of the old VHS film's not very good. It's 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 bang average, and I'm being, you know, I think I'm being pretty generous with the bang average thing. It's 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 um it's not very good. It's, it's piss poor to be honest with you. Now, a film I do like though, um, 
another Kino release, released some great stuff recently. Uh, Maribava's uh, Planet of the Vampires, really good film, really creepy, creepy in places. Um, yeah, I really like this one. You really see in the, uh, you know, when you watch it again, you can really see the influence in the uniforms of like the new X Men films. Well, that's why I mean, I noticed it, I'm sure that people have noticed it as well. Um, picked up an hour uh, Academy title. Um, shows the sun, uh, Naked City. Really, really good film. If you haven't seen this one, definitely check it out. It's an absolute classic. Um, picked up uh, another hour release, Mask of Gun. Haven't a chance to watch this one yet. Uh, Yakuza title. Saw Ara Slate the other day. <clears throat> Some fantastic, fantastic stuff they're bringing out. Really, it's not. Like, it's been a long time since I've seen a whole slate, which I'm thinking I'm definitely getting. I, mean, I think all of them. Can't wait for a long Good Friday to be coming out as well. Kind of, I love that film. Um, film I've never seen before. Hear very good things. Heartless pace, such as High Noon and Twelve Angry Men. My Barber's Rabbit Dogs. Yeah, here's some here are a lot of good things about this. Again, there's a lot of titles in this update. I mean, I haven't seen yet. I do apologise about that. And this is one film I have seen, and I, I had the uh, Twilight Time, and I sold it. Um, Rollerball. Really like the cover. And I, I think do I know the reverse cover on this? Do I? I'm trying to remember if I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Really like that. Fair play. The uh, James Carr looks absolutely fantastic. There, really does. Real good. I, I, I've always liked Rollerball. I remember having the old VHS as well. I really like it, a bit campy kind of places, but it's you know it's it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real good one. Really like it. Um, now, yes, now this western. This is a really really good film. This is Dave Angry Lee Van Cleef. If you haven't seen this? Definitely check this out. Really really good film. Um, Giuliano Gemma plays a street key, you know, constantly being spat on treated like shit uh, until Lee Van Cleef comes into town kind of takes him under his wing and then almost what do they say about like under the wing of the dragon you know you eventually get burnt and there's a lot more to Lee Van Cleef's character really fucking awesome film great score as well um, Rees um, Ortolani I think is his name really good one I definitely checked that out it's a really, really good western really enjoyed that and another great western Lee Van Cleef again this is such a oh. I've been wanting to get this for ages. Just dropped under it like a decent kind of price. Grind out release of the big gun down. Such a oh, such a fucking awesome film. Absolutely awesome. Lee Van Cleef, Thomas Mulian. Just brilliant score, brilliant film, brilliant acting. It's just unbelievable film. Really, really good. Written by Sergio uh, Donati, who did uh, Once Upon a Time in the West, another classic. Packed with just extras just <laughs> coming out of every orifice soundtrack by Ennio Morricone is absolutely brilliant it's 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 a great great film so many layers to it man definitely and this this is the best you get this release the guy nice release it's fantastic awesome awesome film Millian and Clef Clef had such presence you know and I ever picked up um, Django on Blu-ray um, had the old DVD off that I'd upgrade and I love this one. what can you say about Django just a brilliant film Absolutely awesome. Now, uh, a bit of a Spanish film, um, La Isla Minima. Now, this is a this is a really really good. If, if you're a fan of um, I don't know which is it, Epitaphios, um, Spanish kind of serial killer one, and then True Detective as well. That's probably another. It's got a real real kind of cre real good vibe to it. Um, if you like. Stuff like that I've mentioned, the Taffy Street Detective, amongst others, other kind of um, the films that night, uh, programs that night. Yeah, I think you like this. It's really good. I really enjoyed that. That was a good one. Um, and this, uh, this is a Spanish film. I got the fifth one. I had to because I love all four of them. Look, they're not for the faint hearted. If you're into political correctness, for God's sake, don't watch it. But uh, Torrente Five, Operation Year of Vegas. I oh, just <clears throat> don't ask me why Alec Baldwin turns up in this, but I gotta say it's pretty funny. Um, uh, I hear some of these, say, must say, colonial Spanish isn't. I know people were kind of commenting on it, but he's got such a cast of just a few guys from the, you know, a few new cat. There's a few ones um, from previous films. It's really good, man. Really enjoyed it. I enjoy all the Torrentes. They're funny. They're 
just crass and vile but you know my, it's just the humor is just up my street really really like it now <clears throat> i'm gonna show these two films now you know i'm gonna actually i'll show the first one and there's been a lot of good things about this film a lot of um comparisons to hong kong cinema and i'd oh i'd so beg to differ and i'm gonna beg to differ right and i know many people like this film and uh, if you like this film good on you i'm really glad you enjoyed it right john wick right keanu reeves right i got nothing against keanu reeves like a few of his films not the best actor you know he's gone on what what he has and fair play to him you know he, he's done well um he's a ex hitman uh wife dies they have a, a, a young puppy and dog and you know mind you his wife blah blah, blah has a running with Russian gangsters they end up killing the dog and he goes on the warpath now the problem is with that again he's a, he's a murder operandi for you know for, for such a, a spiral of revenge not too sure but the problem is with this film is there's so much shit I, that really annoy me there's only so much headshots one can have in a film you know, you've got to mix it around a bit you know um I've got problem. It's just the way things are kind of resolved in it. It's just it's it's such a it's it really it feels time stops kind of watching it. That whole hotel sequence, man. Just it, you know, Ian McShane turned up for the paycheck, all right, Ian. Fair play. I love Ian McShane. Don't get me wrong. There's other kind of guys kind of turn up here and there. Seeing old um oh god, what is the guy the Warriors? Oh Warriors come out to play. Oh, I can't remember his name. Turns up as one of the cleaners when the Russians attempt to to attack um, John Wick in his home and get rid of the bodies and stuff. I, I think it tries too hard to be cool. And it's just, you know, I, I enjoy kind of little bits here and there, maybe the nightclub when he, you know, takes a fall and I thought, oh, that looks pretty decent. But it's 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 not a good film. It's not a good film. And these comparisons to, to Hong Kong cinema, I wish people would shut the fuck up about it. it, it the sad thing is, normally it's coming from people who've never watched Hong Kong cinema. I know, I'm not trying to sound elitist there. I'm not trying to sound a, a snob when it comes to things, because it, it might... But I've heard comparisons to stuff like Better Tomorrow and Hardball and other great Hong Kong... I was thinking... John Woo? John Woo? I mean, you've... Oh. You, <laughs> you serious? Seriously? I mean, my God. I mean, no. Just no. It's... You know, it, it it the whole glorious bloodshed thing. It just it just couldn't come near it. I'm gonna put it away. It just it, it look. I, I got an opinion, and I'm sure I'll get a thumbs down for it. But you know, oh, fuck it. I don't really care. You know, look. It's my opinion. Um, and it's not trying to sound elitist, but I've seen a lot of Hong Kong cinema. And Hong Kong cinema don't play like that. It doesn't. You know, and it, it it's just the way. Now I've seen a newer revenge film, and I've seen some people that don't like. This. I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I I really did. Uh, the Equaliser. Now, I found this a lot more believable. I found the gangsters in this more, much more menacing. I, I, I find the acting stronger in this. Good to see Vladimir Kulich. Love Vladimir Kulich. Um, but yeah, it, it just, you know, it, did it have that sort of man on fire type of, yeah, it did. But, you know, Denzel, you know, he pulled it through. You know, there was some, you know, good acting in there. And, and people can, you know, say what they like about him but you know he's, he's a good actor some of the acting John Wick was not good acting um really loved the bit where he goes in with the Russians and he, you know with the timer you know times it and he does it in like 27 seconds or something. but it, it's it's good like the corrupt cops in it as well he's got a good dirty kind of sleazy kind of vibe to it like the resolution of the warehouse so it was a, it was a bit bit daft here and there definitely get the American one as well I think the um I think the European release is cut but yeah, I enjoyed it a hell of a lot more than John Wick. I'll probably be shut down because so much for saying it, but oh look man, everyone's everyone's got an opinion. And this will be another film I'm gonna run down, right? <laughs> okay, this is another revenge film. Action scenes rather the raid two. No, they don't, trust me. Believe me, they really don't. Who said this movie? I can't read that, I'm sorry, my glasses I don't have my glasses on. Joe Bros Movie Emporium. Is it Joe Bio? Joe Bio oh, I can't, oh, God, whatever. From the director man from nowhere. Which is an absolutely brilliant film. Now, this is what happens when. This is when a Korean film attempts to be too Hollywoody. 
forgets what makes Korean, particularly crime films, great, be an individual. Tries too much to be a Hollywood film, it doesn't need to be. Um, this film is all over the fucking place. Um, it, it, it's it's really hard to start. I'm, try, I'm trying to think of scenes I kind of enjoy it. It's like, again, again around the hitman. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird because it's been a while since I've seen it. I'm trying to, yeah, he kills the young girl in the restaurant, okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, can oh yeah, going after another again. Yeah, the problem is there's an actor in this as well that plays this sort of the um, head of this syndicate. As well, I find him really. I think he's. I would say he's an American Korean actor in a Korean film. Kind of irritated. The acting is kind of poor in this film as well. It, it's just. It's um, the ending is really stupid. It, it's fucking really ridiculous. Um, it, it, it's again. It it doesn't feel like a Korean crime film. It doesn't feel like that way. I mean, the action scenes don't rival the Raid 2 in any way. Now, this film is really good. I'm going to have to get onto a film I actually like, okay? New Zealand film. Wanted to watch this for a while. It's set in pre colonial uh, New Zealand. Um, it's called The Deadlands. You like Apocalypto? If you like Pathfinder, I think you'd like this. Um, original Pathfinder, not the, the terrible kind of remake. Um, young lad, uh, tribe. Come in. There was once a great war in New Zealand, bringing in a, a rival tribe who they'd been uh, fighting with. They look after the ceremonial um, bones of this tribe's ancestors, um, from the ones who died in the war. Um, he's the lead. He's the young prince of the rival tribe. An event occurs in which this young lad's tribe most of the men a lot of the women get wiped out um and in revenge he um goes after a man uh, well a beast uh, 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 we will call him warrior um Lawrence uh, Macarari uh, from the hobbit and lord of the rings played numerous or played alert uh, in a uh, lord of the rings did a real good job in fellowship um, he's a cannibal, lives by just sheer terror. Um, takes a young lad and he's winging, he goes after them. Shows New Zealand um, martial arts, fighting styles. Um, excellent film. Really, really great film. I can't recommend it enough. Cinematography is fantastic. Lance McRae, just an absolute beast in it. Really good violent gory acting's fantastic just a just a great great film of brilliant film I, I, honestly as well yeah you'll see a few guys who want to warriors in this as well uh, the Maoris look absolutely just badass I mean just fantastic he does a good job as well as the sort of the, uh, the snarling kind of prince it's a brilliant film definitely check that out the Deadlands absolutely brilliant film and uh, last um, but not least in this update I thought I'd show this and this is just I, I often it's it's always between Goodfellas and Casino sometimes and a few years I'd I'd preferred Casino I'd always love Goodfellas don't get me wrong but the last kind of I'd say decade or so, decade or so I've, I've, I've lent to, more towards Goodfellas and this is um, the new release of Goodfellas uh, picture quality of this release is absolutely fantastic as well the restoration um it's just a. Uh, it's a lot like the Once Upon a Time in America release, the booklet. It's just a. Uh, absolutely just. Just watch this film again and again, not get bored. The script, the acting, the directing, oh, the, the soundtrack, the score, and the soundtrack. The soundtrack is just phenomenal, absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, people talk about you know the tracking shot, famous tracking shot, and the, the Copa. Um, halfway through the film, about forty-five minutes in, but. I think my one of my favourite scenes in this is the uh, prison scene uh, when you hear Beyond the Sea and they're cooking. It's brilliant. I love that scene so much and so many other scenes as well. Just, just, just when you watch Joe Pesci, man. I know the real life um, Tommy DeVito. I think is his name. He was a big strapping, six foot four, two hundred and seventy pound psychopath. But Joe Pesci more than pulls it off. The small man thing is just he's so good. He retired too early. Joe Pesci did. He's a brilliant actor. 
And Ray Liotta, man, does such a great job in this film. I think I think sometimes Ray Liotta gets forgotten about, you know, with De Niro and Pesky and Paul Savino as well. It's fantastic in this film. Um, oh, it just builds up a world. It's it's just brilliant. It's it should be watched by all. It's just compulsive viewing. Scorsese, you really realise what a master he is when you see other gangster films attempt to copy it. You know, it's just it's brilliant. Yeah. So yeah, that's um, the ending of that. I'm sorry about pissing and moaning about certain films but remember it's just an opinion you know don't don't get too bothered about it you know just if you liked it you know god bless fair play um so that's the end of this update and i'll be back with part two very very soon